Ah, the topic for this video is get men to respect you. How to establish very clear boundaries for men. This is a special message for women. The reason why I'm recording this video is because I have been talking a lot about sexual opening, right, and sexiness and sensuality and all that. So as you start opening up, you know, especially for you women, uh, you will notice that you are also attracting attraction, attracting attention from, uh, from men. And sometimes there are men might get a little bit invasive coming to your space. And I want to give you some techniques or some attitudes that you can use to simply protect your space and enter into your power. So the first thing to understand is that your body is your body. Nobody touches you, nobody comes into your space without your permission. And if a guy starts getting invasive, it is your right to tell the man to back off, okay? You don't have to be a man pleaser. You don't have to be agreeable to somebody who starts getting invasive or aggressive. And sometimes this invasion is going to be an energetic thing. Sometimes it's going to be a physical thing. Sometimes it's going to be verbally, you know, a guy is chatting to you and you just don't want to be there. So it's possible to say something like, you know what, I... I'm not interested in having a conversation with you right now. Uh, let me get back to you later, okay? And this can be online, on chat, it can be face to face. You don't have to be rude, but you can be firm. The core element that you need to be able to do that is a certain form of inner power. You know, when you go and check online and you see all these warrior goddesses, you know, Kali like ninjas, and they have swords and they have blood on their body and there, there is a little bit of aggressive energy behind it. I mean, this is the kind of embodiment that you want to have present in your field so that men realize when they come close to you that you are not somebody they want to mess up with. Okay? There is a certain form of energetic or emotional threat in your aura that says, don't fuck with me because I have the power to hurt you if you do. And so this field of protection or energy is already the first thing to embody you know it's a certain form of presence you go like i have the right to protect myself the right to protect my body it's a birth right and so that control power over your yourself this authority power that you were born with is a birth right if you don't use it you might lose it it means that the moment you start activating this energy inside of you, it's like it anchors your power and it anchors a certain form of respect in your system. So here are a couple of things that you can do as well if you feel that a man is invading your space, okay? The first one is very simple. It's a verbal thing. It's like, back off. It can be, please back off. Please give me some space. You know, something like that. If it doesn't work, it can be more powerful and more impacting back off okay and when you say that uh most of the time it might create some form of response it means that the, the guy might be offended if he's wise he might he will you know step back but there is something that you have to understand it is that nobody enjoys a rejection you know but it's okay for you to actually be firm with your message and you give yourself and the, the, the guy a service and an opportunity for the man to show the respect that he has for you. So in this movement of energy that says, just leave me alone, take a step back, you are, you are too much into my face or in too much into my space, please back off. You know, in this movement, there is a possibility for two people to connect in synergy and in respect for each other. So you offer the possibility for the man to show his respect to, uh, you know, to you. And so, yeah, that's something to practice. It's something to embody. I would say that the first step is really to, to embody that kind of power inside of you. And you can use this mantra that I gave you before, right? Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya. Kali is the goddess of destruction, transformation, and change. And it's really like a warrior goddess that you have inside of you and that is ready to, uh, to wake up in your system. So I encourage you to do that. Don't let people invade your space if it's not what you want, okay? And uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, sexual pressure or sexual demands, uh, predator style lack of approaches, you know, these kind of things, you have the right as a woman to set up very clear boundaries and, uh, and simply protect your space, okay? It is a birthright. Don't hesitate to do it. I love you. I'll see you soon.